Without a doubt, the worst part of the historical epic to yet is what happens to the baby and Shogun during Tadeyoshi's seppuku. While there were many graphic and violent scenes in Shogun's two-episode premiere, the show's darkest scene to date took place off-screen toward the start of episode one. Although the events of new Shogun drama began with John Blackthorne's arrival in Japan, sensitive power conflicts were already taking place throughout the islands. The complexity of the internal struggles in Shogun is highlighted by the cast of characters, especially in relation to Lord Tyrannica's ascending power in comparison to the other members of the Council of Regents. In addition to becoming more and more powerful every day, Tyrannica was now housing the boy's mother and the heir of the late Taiko in his castle. This resulted in a meeting between Ishido and Toranaga, when Tadeyoshi, a young samurai, ultimately requested permission to perform seppuku. As part of her husband's seppuku, Yusami Fuji, the granddaughter of the best friend of Lord Tyrannaga, had her infant child sentenced to death. Toda, when Mariko went into Yusami's room, she discovered that Hiromatsu's granddaughter was holding the infant and threatening to kill herself if her son died. The frantic mother was talked out of her plan by Mariko, but the seppuku rite went on and the infant was slain off-screen. Now a disgraced warrior, Tadeyoshi had sworn to wipe off not just his own life, but the entire line of his family. Seppuku death was designed to be a slow, agonizing death that was considered a noble way to pass away after a valiant fight or dishonorable deed. Ishido questions Toranaga about the hare's mother's status and whether or not she is being held as a captive during his meeting with the other regents. In a political game where every word had to be carefully chosen, Lord Toranaga and Ishido were engaged when one of the samurai spoke without previously getting permission and accused Ishido of insulting Toranaga. All of the lords and samurais involved were agitated by Tadeyoshi's conduct, which prompted him to apologize and declare he was going to perform seppuku. In the samurai ritual known as seppuku, a person who would have lost their honor would kill themselves by stabbing themselves in the abdomen with a short sword. Seppuku death was designed to be a slow, agonizing death that was considered a noble way to pass away after a valiant fight or dishonorable deed. Additionally, it represented a samurai's allegiance to their master and demonstrated that, in the event of loss, they would follow their leader to the point of death. It was inevitable for Tadeyoshi to demand seppuku after offending Ishido. Feeling deeply embarrassed of his deeds, Tadeyoshi requested permission to destroy his family lineage as well as commit seppuku because his name was now disgraced. For this reason, the infant had to die by his coat as well. Although Toranaga was clearly unhappy about it, he was powerless to stop it. Similarly, Tadeyoshi would have to break the family line even though the infant was the grandchild of one of Toranaga's generals. Mariko's handling of the event set the tone for Shogun's violent, high-stakes narrative and rapidly established her character.